Where are you? I've got to find this regal blue tang. That's not possible, is it? Hey, this is Barry for Aquarium Outfitters and Fish Store, and welcome to Species Spotlight. Today, we're going to be talking about the regal blue tang. The regal blue tang can be found in Fiji, Indonesia, the Solomon Islands, all the way over as far as Maldives. Among other names, they're also known as the blue tang, Pacific blue tang, pallet surgeon fish, and thanks to Disney, known by children everywhere as Dory. This is a beautiful fish that adds a rich blue and yellow color to the aquarium. Though this fish appreciates having a lot of live rock to swim through and hide in in an aquarium, they're really active and they love to swim all around the tank, so they need plenty of swimming room in order to stay healthy. They can normally be housed with other types of fish without too much trouble, but they can, however, be aggressive to other tanks, especially ones of the same body type. Many aquarists have had luck keeping multiple specimens in larger tanks. Introducing multiple specimens at the same time may improve their chances of getting along. It's nice that the Disney movies Finding Nemo and Finding Dory have helped public appreciation for this amazing fish. The only problem is that this fish gets really big and can max out around a foot long, and many fans with smaller tanks want to keep these fish because they love the movies. You can, however, keep a small specimen in a smaller tank for a while until they get too big, and then you can sell them or trade them to an aquarist or a store that can adequately take care of them when they outgrow your tank. The other thing that needs to be addressed with this fish is that they're definitely prone to ick and other parasites, sometimes lateral Lyme disease and fin erosion can be a problem too. It's good to keep an eye on them and watch for symptoms. These guys are technically herbivores, but they will eat the meaty food that you feed the other fish in your tank. That's okay, but you want to make sure that they're getting plenty of marine algae or seaweed. This will help keep them healthy by boosting their immune system, and it's said to reduce their aggression. The recommended tank size for the full-grown regal blue tang is 180 gallons. Okay, so let's go over our checklist. This is a moderate care level fish that can be semi-aggressive. They're good in both fish-only systems and in reefs. So what's your experience with the Regal Blue Tang? Comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. The Regal Blue Tang is said to have a lifespan of up to around 20 years in the right conditions. Not over here either. I remembered something.